uh, how to check the controllability and observability of a system whose state space model is given to us. So let's take a problem. So a problem is we have to check the controllability and observability of the system and the state space representation of the system is given to us. These are the two equations of the state space model. So let us solve this problem. Through this state model we can find out the A, B and the C matrices. So A matrix is 2, 1, minus 1 and 2, B matrix is 1 and 1 and C matrix is 1, 1. Now the con to check the controllability, we have the controllability matrix QC. Here the number of state variables, they are 2. So N is equals to 2 and we will find out the controllability matrix by A, uh, this B, AB, a square b till a n minus 1 b n is the number of state variable here n is 2 so it will be 2 minus 1 1 so we are going to calculate q c till b and a b now b matrix is given to us 1 and 1 a matrix is minus 2 1 plus 2 1 and minus 1 this is the A matrix. So we will calculate AB 2, 1, minus 1, 2 multiplied with B. So this will be 2 into 1, 2 and 1 into 1, 1. So it will be 2 plus 1 and minus 1 into 1, minus 1 plus 2 into 1, plus 2. So it will be 3 and 2 minus 1, 1. Now this controllability matrix QC, it will become B matrix is 1 and 1. AB matrix we have calculated as 3 and 1. We have put the value of B here and AB in this matrix. Now we will calculate the determinant of QC. 1 into 1 minus 3 into 1. 1 minus 3, it is minus 2. So it is not equals to 0. So rank of QC matrix is 2. And it is equal to the number of state variables. 2, there are 2 state variables. So it is equal to the number of state variables and it is a non-singular matrix. So the system is completely controllable. Okay. Now to test the observability, we will have this observability matrix. C transpose, A transpose, C transpose, A transpose square, C transpose still, A transpose to the power n minus 1, C transpose. Uh, again here n is equals to 2 that is the number of state variables so we are going to calculate the observability matrix c transpose and a transpose c transpose c matrix is given to us 1 1 so c transpose will be this will become the column now a transpose a is given to us in the question so a transpose will be 2 1 minus 1 and 2. Multiply the C transpose and A transpose. So 
So it will come out to be 2 into 1, 2 minus 1, 1 plus 2. So this will be 2 and 3. So our Q0, that is the observability matrix, it will become 1, 1, the C transpose matrix and A transpose C transpose is 2 and 3. Now calculate the determinant of this Q0. This will be 3 minus 2, 1. So it is not equals to 0, the determinant. It means that the rank of this Q0 matrix is equal to 2 which is equal to the number of state variables it will be a non-singular matrix and hence the system is completely observable So in this question, we have test the controllability and observability of the system whose state space model was given to us. And we have found that the system is completely controllable and observable. So in this way, you can solve questions similar to this where you are given the state space representation of the system and we want to check the controllability and observability. Just check the rank of the QC and the Q0 matrices, the controllability test matrix and the observability test matrix. If the rank is equal to the number of state variables and the Q0 and QC matrices, they are coming out to be non-singular matrices, then the system is said to be completely controllable and observable otherwise it is uncontrollable and unobservable so i hope this problem is clear to you thank you